Feels like a good one, but it's hard to tell, you know, when you first hook them in trolling, because sometimes the speed of your boat can be a little bit misleading, but boy, he nailed it. Tell you what we're doing here. We started out, and Gaston brought me into this really good looking place here. <sighs> oh, I'm excited. I can't even talk, Gaston, I'm telling you. But anyway, he says, you know, I don't, and I don't know. He was telling me some stories. He was telling me about the one time he came in here and the very first cast was this great big pike. Now, I don't know what I've got. Truthfully, it fought at first like a great big walleye, but oh, it's got some meat to it. It's really got some weight to it. I mute. This is, I don't think this is a little fish. You know that, Gaston? Hey. I don't think it's a little fish. Well, could be good. <laughs> you see how it stays down? Whenever you see your rod, and even the way it jerked its head, this is a nice fish. I'm using a, um, a special, well, not a special, there's so many variations of the Hydra, but this is one that I thought would be good. It's a, it's a smaller version than Gaston is using, but, uh, it's it's a, a pearl colored hydra and we haven't been in, we haven't been trolling very long gaston when this fish hit this is a nice fish this is a nice fish yeah that's this is a big fish gaston the way it's going there looking very yeah good. this is a big fish that's what we're looking for oh boy i'll tell you what and i know matt's up at the front of the boat thinking oh geez do i ever wish that he did hit mine <laughs> well Matt, i wish he'd have hit yours too i don't know what he is but oh i'm getting excited yeah, it is. And we, be, we have to be polite to the O's, too. Yeah. <laughs> Leave him the first one. Yeah. Listen to him already <laughs> on my back. Already he's on me. Oh, I'm telling you. That's a good fish. Yeah, this is a good fish. Yes, sir. He slammed. He slammed this Hydra. But he's fighting more. You know how he's not making any fast bursting? There he is. Oh, look at oh, the size look. of it. Look at Holy that. cow. Holy cow, Gaston. It's huge. That's good. Yeah, it's good. <laughs> Woo! Perfect. Oh, oh, Gaston, I'm, uh, my heart's in my throat right now. That's a huge pike, Gaston. Yeah, that's a very nice fish. That that might be pushing. How big do you think that is? I'll bet be you. 12. Oh, 13, I think he's bigger. I'll yeah, bet you he's 15. 12, 13. Gaston probably knows better than I do, but I'm going to say bigger. Well, I like I said, I'm thinking. <laughs> I think. Oh, I saw the back of this fish. This is a big fish. It's a huge fish. Oh. He hit it so hard that I... Oh! Oh, yeah. Beautiful. Oh, he's big. He's That's bigger than you think. Fish. He's bigger than you think. That's a beautiful fish. Oh! Oh, Gaston, get him! Oh, my God! Oh, Gaston, and the Hydra came out right... Do you believe that? <coughs> oh! Holy cow! Yeah, that's a huge fish. Look at look at where the hydra came out right in the net, Gaston. Yeah. If you hadn't netted him, we would have lost it. Look at holy! Look at the hooks. Oh my gosh! That's a oh! Oh my goodness! Oh! That's eight, seven, oh. Eight, 17, 18 pounds. Yes. I'm gonna try to do this without hooking myself. Look at that. Put that hydra right there. It's caught in your it's caught in your jacket. If you can, Gaston. Put that right by its mouth, because that's what that baby, and that's amazing. That's one of the biggest pike I've ever caught. And we haven't been in here 15, 15 minutes. I'm gonna let him go. Oh my god, this is a this is a, a a fish of a lifetime. This is incredible. Oh let me pose one more time. I want to get a great shot because I, yeah, that, thank, that, you. That, thank you, thank you. That bike's close. Give me the, give me the lure and let me put that by its mouth because I want to remember how, what I caught that on, if it still isn't tangled. That bike's close to twenty pound. I know it. You look bigger. Look at the tiny lure that he hit. Put it right by its mouth. Look at how tiny that lure was, and he hit that baby. Oh. Well, back he goes. Now. If we can see him over here, what I've got to try to do revive is, him. Yeah, revive this fish. And I've got to get my hand out of his mouth. Very dangerous. What I did, I don't suggest you folks do. No, get your finger cut. Oh, you get your finger cut right off. <laughs> what I'm going to try to do is hold this fish. Huge, huge fish, Gaston. I owe this all to Gaston. 
You know, he's been fishing these waters his whole life, and it wasn't for him. I wouldn't have had any idea where to come in here. And I'm glad you decided to troll instead of cast. I, this fish battled a long time, and we held him a long time. So I'm making sure he's okay now. Yeah. He obviously wasn't hooked deep because the the uh, hydra came out right in the net. He's starting to move there. Is good. he? Yeah. Give him a little, uh, if little he, more time. And if you let him go too soon, yeah, turn they're not over. ready. They'll turn over. So you got to really nurse these babies because they've given you, he's given me one of the best thrills in angling in the angling world. One of the best things that could ever happen to me fishing. No, he deserves so, to live. He deserves to live. You bet he does, Gaston. If everybody would do that, maybe we'd have more fish today in our lake. I know it. Isn't it a shame, Gaston, what happens that people think that... There he there goes. He goes. <laughs> Ready to make... Gaston. That's because <laughs> of you. It's because of you. Oh, man. Like he says, everybody thinks you get a body of water that's big like this, and they think that, uh, gosh, the fishing, you can't fish it out. Believe me, you can. And this place has been fishing, not completely out, but very much. Uh, you don't get the success we used to get 15, 20 years ago, because people, instead of taking their limit, they would take 75, 80, 100 fish home every time. And most of the time, they don't even need it. You lose it. I know. Because it's it freezer burn or they give it away. Yeah, so. if, if we could just change people. And that's why I like fishing with young folks like Matt today. Uh, Show them what to do. I, I would have loved, I, truthfully, I would have loved to have had Matt catch that fish. But the other way of looking at it is it's kind of a reward for an effort like anything else. And I've spent so many years, and I want to tell you, Matt, that, uh, boy, I'll tell you, it gives you something to look forward to because one of these days, and maybe later on today, it's going to happen to you. Before we go back to fishing, I want to show you wh what I was using. And uh, I've got a, a, a sinker. It's a, a sinker on a chain type system up above, about 24 inches above the lure. What this does is it allows me to get down deep in here because we're fishing in 15 feet of water yeah, about that, primarily. 15, 16. And then I've got a long wire leader, and thank goodness I did. And right. then at the end of it, I've got the Hydra with its special hook. And that might have fooled you, Gaston, because that third hook is designed yeah, that way. I know, but not the second one. No, the second one, the second one is all bent up. You're right. <laughs> and that I'll put back in the Hydra. And that was the, that was the model that I was using. The neat thing about this bait is that if the fish are feeding on a thin type bait, like a smelt, well, you've got a Hydra that's real thin. In this case, I was using a fat one because what I know they're feeding on in here, these northerns are laying in here looking for walleye pike. And whenever you're fishing a reservoir system like this, that's what you got to remember. Those northerns are going to be where the walleyes are. They're not going to, it's not like the same as shore casting where they're in feeding on frogs or in the bays or something. These are reservoir fish and they will stay around a school of walleyes. They'll follow them. So if you on your, on your depth finder, if you find a school of small walleyes, believe me, there could be a huge northern lurking around. Well, that's an incredible, incredible thing to happen. So I'm going to put this back in. And let's go fishing. And we're going to start trolling again. Boy. And you got that great big lure on? Yes, sir. Oh. It's not that, oh. big. It's not that big, but... It's He's a got a great big hydra on, too. He's got a hydra twice as big as the one I was using. Matt, we got to put you a white-colored one on, I think. Yeah. Because uh, this nice, is... Nice jump, too. Oh. Is that a big walleye or no, northern? No, no, it's a northern. Now, that's a funny thing. The hydra that you're using is twice as big as the one I got. And, and I got, you got like, a half a size northern. Half a size, about one... 116 of your size. I can get him without you putting him yes. in the net. Look at the hydro. Oh. Look at that in his mouth. Look at that. The, the lure just is as half as the big, size. Just as big as the... Of the... Of the northern. Oh my goodness, you got... This hydra is rigged up with the double... Now wait a minute, see the other one in here? Let me... My pliers are in, right there. You want the pliers? Yeah, if you can get him, I'll hold him just oh, like just this. Your for a minute, Boy, that's a big bait for that fish. That's one of the bigger hydras uh, designed for pike and muskie fishing. But uh, as you can see, it's, it's not certainly not too big, is it? 
because there's pike in here probably three times that size. I don't want to hurt him. But no, I don't think you okay, are. That's good. I think, oh, he is bleeding. You know what? You but, think we ought to, if you, if you got anything to put him in in here? Yeah, I've got a live well in the front. Then let's save him for a while and for a, a shore lunch. I thought that we didn't really get him too bad. Do you think he's okay? Well, I, I think he'll live. Uh, he's not he's, bleeding. No, he's no, still bleeding. Uh, bad or? Oh, yeah. yeah, he's bleeding. Maybe we better keep him. Sure. Put, <laughs> put that lure down there again. That to me, that's that's amazing that that fish would hit something the, that that big. big. It's, <laughs> but that's what he wanted. Well, I'm gonna. When wash they're hungry, the blood they're off. hungry. That's a shame. That it's a shame that, but there's nothing we can do about it. But the good thing is we won't waste them, and we'll have a great shore lunch with him. So let me put him in. Uh, there's a lot of places that would be considered a good one, you know. Yes, but not over here. <laughs> not today. When we, when I just caught that big one. Just move him over here for a bit. He will in a minute. Hold on, he's got to. Where is it now? Okay. Out back there. Ah. Have you got one? Yes. Sir. You sure? Well, you hit. Oh, I think he's gone now. Is he? Oh, and, and you got that great big giant hydron too. No, it's following. Is it? You've got something. Yeah, I think it's a walleye. If if you have a walleye on that giant hydra, I am going to be amazed. It'd be different if I caught one on my medium-sized one, but my goodness, this would this is going to amaze me, won't it? You? No. Spike, small pike. Is it? Yeah. Oh, now that is crazy. That is absolutely <laughs> crazy. <laughs> they will hit the biggest dog on lure. We got a wire leader on. Look at the size of that. Yes. That the is bait is just as big. <laughs> <laughs> That's amazing. Hey, unbelievable! Unbelievable. <laughs> uh. Well, he might be shore lunch too. No, I don't know. He, no, he's not. Well, no, it's not bad. Have lady. you got your players? Okay, just hold his mouth open. I got it. I shouldn't do that because. Wait, I, wait, 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 wait. Okay, the should, other hook was in because, my hand. Yeah, I shouldn't do that because that's not a good advice to give to people, but he's not that badly hooked. So. Look at the size. <laughs> <laughs> that's funny. That's really funny. Well, I'm going to put him back because he's okay. Yes, he's okay. Oh. Well, that was a little fish, but interesting because what it tells. Oh, boy. Yeah, we got to fix that baby. He's chopped that hydra up. You know, it shows people that pike will hit awful big food, won't they? Yes. They, that's probably the size of some of the small walleyes that they live on in here. Oh, they eat bigger, bigger walleye than that. Do they? Oh, yes. Well, while you're doing that, I'm going to just cast because you never know. Where there's one, there may be his grandfather or mother. Well, that's the one that was. Well, I just cast in here. We just took a break, came in here. I don't know what I, oh, it's a little northern. Probably all kinds of fish in here. Oh, he got my tail from my hydra. I'll have to put another one on. I don't have too many more. Well, that's just a little bitty one, but I thought I hooked a walleye, but there are walleye in here, aren't there? Yes. And that's what they're after, too. After what? Uh, well, oh, the northern well, no, no, Not this uh, size, but... Uh, this size thinks he is, but <laughs> this is the first walleye he saw that was big enough for him to tackle. They're small enough. Do you have... Oh, I got it. Yeah. wonder how long it'll take him to get big. Oh, another four or five years, if you live through that. Can you back up? Yeah. I'll get my uh, tail. Your, your tail? Big. Yeah, I know, I've seen it. I put the big, big hydra on to try to be like you guys. Oh, I think he's good the way he's shaking his head. Oh, okay, I'll get, I'll get the next oh, get oh, Matthew. Now, Matthew, let me show you something. Come on back here with me while I'm fighting this. Now, watch my rod. The, the big secret is, right now, I, if, when he starts to do something, I, I reel real fast to try to make sure that that rod is always bent. You know, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Because I can't, I can't, 
and to, to keep that hook buried instead of setting the hook again what I like to do is tighten right up and then a slow lift which puts a lot of pressure on it you just never know if you've got a really big one or not till you get up close sometimes we seen those this morning oh after that big one I'm thinking everyone is but well, that's a good one that's a good fish. Oh, yeah, that's a good one. Is it? Oh, it looks. Looks like. Mm, no. Not, oh, bad, not bad. Not bad. Not bad. Not monstrous, but. Oh. <laughs> Matthew says, oh no. <laughs> you, we spoiled you early, Matthew. <sighs> now, I don't have a trailer on that, so that might come out easy. Like the the big one you've got, it's got a, a, another second set of hooks. But this only has the one, so this might. Right behind you, uh, Don. Okay. You get your hook. Okay. Good. Okay. Boy, he's fat though, isn't yeah. he? He's nice. He's uh. He's fat and he's uh, for, uh, for, yeah. for the been, size of it. Too. Been feeding on walleyes, I think. Well, interesting, interesting. We just came back out of here to where we'd fished before. Out of We tried to go way back in there, but it got so shallow and we thought it would deepen up again, but it, it didn't. So we've come back to the, to the bay where we were having luck before. And we're all using pretty much the same color white, and I'm thinking, I'm wondering if maybe another color would work, but I tried some other colors and not so much. So I put this uh, red, red head and red tail on, thinking that maybe the red and white would even be better. And at least he hit. I, I can't get over how big of a hydra those fish want to hit. And, and we know that there's some in here 30 pounds, so we keep trying for them. Boy. We Come got on, the Matthew. 20, I now want Matthew. we get the 30. Matthew's <laughs> got the same lures I do, except this is all white. For it again. Have you got him on? Yeah, all right, yeah, keep, right keep heavy weight on him. He's a good one. Keep heavy weight, Matt. Heavy power. Don't let the, the rod go slack at all. Atta boy. Oh, <laughs> I guess you should have said, Don, you're standing in the net. I'm wondering what all this delay was for. Now I know. Good boy! Oh it. my goodness, that's great. Did you see what he did? He, yeah. He came back. He came back after you even had him hooked and lost him. That, that's really amazing. You know what? I would like to keep Matt's pike and put him with the other one because... For a shore lunch? Yes, I want a shore lunch and I want you okay. to show everybody a little bit later how to clean, how to fillet pike so there's no bones. Do you think you could do that? Oh yes. No problem there. Well, Matt. He did now. It. Yeah, it was back to life. Great, great. Tell me something. That's two now. You lost the first one. You lost the second one. And he gave you another chance. Yeah. That was amazing. Yeah. They're they're such vicious fish. Mm -hmm. You were casting this time because we got back in this little water and we turned around. So what happened anyway? Well, I was rolling in it and it was about. Uh, it was right near the boat. Yeah, it was about five feet from the boat and it, it bite one mm -hmm. and then I started reeling in it but I didn't and there I pulled it out and I said oh no I <laughs> goofed no. again yeah. Don's yeah. gonna be mad at me yeah and I could see my lure in the water it was about like three feet away from the the boat and I was all ready to pull my lure out of the water and it just bite it you saw the head come up yeah. and boy that's exciting when that happens it really is that's what pike fishing's like because they're so aggressive when they hit. Now they can go through times when they don't hit at all, but when they want to hit, they'll come, oh, they're, they're one of the most aggressive fish at all. I don't know if you know what the word aggressive means. Yeah. yeah. Okay. <laughs> well, I don't know any French words, so. All right, that's great. And a little bit later, we're gonna get to eat him too. Did he come right in from shore? Yeah. 